Hi Tauruses, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the February 1st through the 15th of 2018 reading. I'm going to just pull the energies I'm reading for whomever's energies I feel. And the energies I'm feeling are of a, a person or a group of people who are now being opened to a number of paths ahead. Uh, it's about bringing something to an end, doing your research, figuring out what it is you need to do to move forward in your path. Some of you may be literally moving um, to a different location when it comes to business or maybe a new home, um, but it is in that area that you are going to receive uh, gifts and blessings and uh, these gifts and blessings are tied to a karmic connection with some sort of female. A female who is very uh, comfortable, loving, caring, giving. <clears throat> and um, yeah, someone wants to get back in connection or fix a connection with someone who has maybe water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio or fire, Sag, Aries, or Leo in their chart. So at this time, Spirit is telling you with the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland, it's a time to stand your ground when it comes to something that just isn't working anymore. This is the Gilded Tarot, and it is clarifying that you need to stand your ground when it comes to something that's not working for you. If you can see the cobwebs there something is getting old something's not working it is time for a change now the cards crossing that card in this celtic spread is love begins when i see this particular card a lot of times for me this is opening your heart to a new offer or opportunity could have to do with finances could have to do with love begins when you start to open your heart and listen to your intuition about what is best for you or acknowledging that someone wants to open their heart to you and help you in some way. Again, this could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Now in your thoughts position, we've got power. So this is a beautiful energy. This is setting new goals for yourself with the elder and the lion energies and conquering everything in your path until you reach your prey, till you reach the goal that you set out for yourself. So it may feel like you've put a lot of energy into something and I feel with the nine of wands that spirit is saying, give it one last try. You are going to be making it through a difficult path and you'll find yourself in a new direction. If you set goals about a new direction, then you can eventually lay down the path you've been on and move forward. In your foundation, we've got the waiting game. So here we have, you have planted seeds or will be planting seeds with what it is you want to accomplish and or achieve in your life path at this time. Know that the seeds have uh, rooted and your idea, your goal, your direction is becoming more clear. It's starting to sprout and slowly but surely you're going to be taking steps towards the successful new beginning. Um, with the Page of Pentacles energies, you may be feeling like someone is closed off. Someone's not opening up emotionally or they're not opening up when it comes to finances. Therefore, some of you are doing your research and are contemplating a new direction when it comes to travel, when it comes to a new beginning elsewhere. And you're just waiting and contemplating, standing your ground and setting your goals in the first couple weeks of February. Now, in the recent past, some of you, not all of you, whomever's energies I am pulling, are, did come into or will in the beginning of February come into an awareness of sorts. You're going to start to understand something and then with this card you have the energies of the magician to manifest a beautiful new path when it comes to financial prosperity. So some of you may be finding out that there is money available to you. Therefore, you uh, are going to need to take some steps to figure out how to connect with a person to maybe receive those finances. Now, in the next two to three weeks, Spirit is saying that uh, there are energies of discontent and boredom. Okay, so this is... The 31st of January today, Spirit is saying don't become 
discontent and bored. Think about what it is that really excites you. Think about what it is that gets you passionate. Think about what it is that um, fulfills your boredom in a way where you can set down an old path and step into a new beginning. In these next two to three, uh, I'm sorry, first two weeks of February, Spirit's saying that there will be material and spiritual prosperity available to you and it's up to you to stand your ground, to uh, explain that you know where you've been, where it is you're going, what goals you have, and I feel someone's going to open up their heart to support you. Now, through discontent and boredom, some of you are going to have someone racing in to kind of test you to see if you have learned and can rise to a higher level of prosperity or of even a relationship or commitment. Again, I'm feeling like it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, because this is general. All right, so in your uh, spiritual guidance position, we've got conflict and defeat. So spirit saying you can take conflict and defeat and you can turn it into acknowledgement for a job well done by connecting out with others, by changing what it is you want to get passionate about, by replacing discontent and boredom with these goals and by giving everything one last chance for success in a path so that you can move in a new direction of karmic blessings. Now, in your hopes and fears position, Spirit saying with the Material Harvest card, what you put into your life is what you are going to receive. So it is time to plant new seeds. It is time to nurture and care for those seeds. It is time to patiently wait until someone or something opens up to you. Um, this is also the card of what comes around goes around. Uh, so again, if you whatever you put into such a situation is what you will receive. And I think for some of you, you're just wanting to receive an opportunity to go in a new direction. And with the Ace of Swords energy, Spirit is offering you this new direction. They're saying it is available to you, though it may be a little bit scary because it's a path you have not walked before. But uh, this path will help for you to cut away from the old uh, circumstances and situations that were not fulfilling you, that were bringing you unfulfillment, discontent, boredom, and feeling stuck. Now, in your outcome position, you've got intuition. So listen to your intuition. Okay, pray to spirit and ask spirit to please guide you in a new direction that will bring you happiness, prosperity, and financial security. Know that with these energies in the next couple weeks, first couple weeks of February, you will be, if you pray, able to decipher this direction. Okay, this new difficult direction, because of what you are reaping and sowing, you are going to find this new path of fulfillment. This is a path of many blessings with the Ace of Coins. It is a path of financial prosperity. It may start out small, but know that it is a new direction that you are supposed to be heading in. So replace conflict and defeat with the uh, steps you need to take, the goals you need to set, and know that if you get passionately excited about something and you put your energy in, you will receive success out. Now, in the first week and a half to two weeks, some of you are wanting to stand your ground when it comes to a love connection um, or even a, a business connection where you're going to have to replace discontent with boredom with expressing what it is that fulfills you. Look at that. You're going from a nine of wands in the first maybe week to the second week of the ten of wands laying down a difficult battle so that you can come into harmony with those around you, whoever that may be. Again, Spirit saying, look for the path of triumphant success because you have the energies to break through to this success. It is time for you to make the right choices in the first couple weeks of February, however it applies in your life. And by making the right choice, understand that there's something that's going to have to be sacrificed, something that no longer fulfills you, something that is actually dragging you down in the muck. It's time to follow the beautiful rainbows and clouds in the shape of flowers and to let go of old memories, okay? Old friendships, old connections that are, were a part of your life at one point but now are not. Let those flow out into the ocean. Imagine letting them go for now. You'll always have your uh, memories with you, but now is a time to focus on moving forward. You've got the energies of positive movement forward and of the ability to not only rejoice in 
celebration because you set new goals and you followed them. But Spirit is coming to offer you spiritual strength to achieve these new goals that are going to bring you a lot of confidence, a lot of attention, recognition. You're going to be feeling really, really good about yourself if you take the time to plant new seeds in your life. You have the energies of the wisdom card to really look at your life story, how far you've come. The high priest is congratulating you because you have earned the energies of wisdom, because you can now look at the big picture of your life and know exactly with your sacral chakra what it is that you want as you move forward ahead. And what you are moving forward towards is some sort of, <coughs> pardon me, karmic connection. So in the first week and a half or so uh, this is going to be about making new choices you know new decisions what direction do I want to move in what do I want to give birth to what is best for me some of you may be kind of dragging your feet a little bit and I think with the waiting game maybe it's you that isn't wanting to open up to this new exciting path or idea but as you reach out to others you will be able to um, Stand your ground when it comes to partnerships and alliances. Stand your ground when it comes to discontent and boredom and knowing that you need to set goals to move forward positively. It's a time of moving on. Why? Because the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles are saying there is a destiny ahead of you that is going to be a beautiful new path of fulfillment when it comes to finances, when it comes to making the right choices in your path. Look at these new beginnings that you set up for yourself in the first couple weeks of February 2018 will be leading you towards success and uh, victory. Here's that recognition in the first week and a half or so. Receiving recognition, and that recognition is going to bring you great material and spiritual prosperity. Spirit's offering you great hope in that path. And in the outcome position, as you are stepping in a new path, in a new direction, with new people, there may be uh, some sort of energy here having to do with feeling trapped in fear. So write down what it is that you may feel in fear of. Cross out those fears and replace them with exciting new goals and opportunities ahead. Uh, I do see the uh, that you have the energies of the Queen of Wands, or this could be that the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio also has fire in their chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo. And uh, you or this person are very good at setting goals and achieving those goals and not giving up until they have accomplished those goals. So it's a time to really look at your shadow side and or the shadow side of someone else. We all have one. To figure out what it is that has been blocking or disrupting your path and to focus on that because look at this. You guys are receiving the universe card. To me, this means climbing to a higher spiritual level you have made it through a difficult lesson and now it's about choosing a new direction so as you are taking time in the first couple weeks of February to choose a new direction get out of your own way uh, when it comes to mental clarity again pray to spirit listen to your intuition about the right path to take now if you acknowledge or find out or figure out or recognize that there are obstacles and challenges stand uh, that are preventing you from moving ahead that's because spirits trying to block a path if they're trying to tell you that that's not the right one for you and the path that you're trying to go in that's being blocked with obstacles and challenges has to do with some sort of temptation so listen to your third eye chakra as you pray ask spirit for signs and guidance go into solitude and look at your life story how far you've come what you've learned about yourself who you are now and how you're going to start this new chapter moving ahead the new chapter should involve healing okay suffering in silence is not going to help you but rest and reju rejuvenation will help for you to let go of any sort of suffering to move forward towards finan financial prosperity and to find yourself in a very solid foundation that's when your heart chakra is going to light up even though it's a difficult path spirit is saying with the card on the bottom of the deck that a majority of you I'd say 80 to 90 percent are going to triumph in this new direction you are going to find harmony and be able to lay down an old difficult path what that's going to do is line you up uh, karmically with uh, the right person or um, maybe even just kudos from a I see female energies here. 
So I don't know if someone's waiting to connect with a female who's very comfortable, but who uh, maybe can be a little mischievous. Here you are starting out the first week with needing to go within with the hermit energies, needing to forget and forgive yourself and others. Because once you let go of what has been, you can recognize that right behind you are two brand new cups and a brand new path spirits trying, trying to give you when it comes to what can be in your future. You have justice in your favor with this major arcana. Spirit's going to assist you when it comes to cutting away people, places, situations, circumstances, and environments that are not good for you so that you can find balance in your life because balance is happiness. So something is going to have to crumble. For some of you, you need to stand your ground when it comes to maybe a business, when it comes to maybe a, a fire sign and a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and or a uh, fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo. Uh, and it may cause you heartache to let go of someone who really is trying to offer their heart and do the right thing. But it is a time for you to make difficult decisions. It is a time for you to get clear, organized, logical, disciplined, and focused about what this path ahead of you is going to look like and what you're going to do to take the steps to get there. Look at that. Spirit's offering you the major arcana the Empress energies to assist you when it comes to replacing discontent and boredom with brand new beginnings. So here you are, some of you, traveling in the next week and a half or so. As you do research, figuring out where it is you need to go to accomplish new things, to find success in your life, the High Priestess is going to light the path ahead of you to help you to manifest a new direction, to give you any answers to the questions you may be seeking at this time. A path of fun and fulfillment is over. Uh, it no longer serves you whatever this was. And now it's time to think about a new direction and new goals and to start stepping into the direction of this new path. Know that spirit is offering you the temperance energies to heal, to forgive, to forgive, like I said, yourself or someone else and to set new goals and new directions for yourself. For some of you, it's about doing research and maybe even receiving a message from someone or yes, Someone when it comes to spiritual and material prosperity. Um, it, it may start out small, this offer, this opportunity. But again, what you put in is what you will receive. And some of you will definitely in the next week and a half or two be leaving troubled waters behind and moving towards smoother waters. And it looks like it could be a difficult path in your thoughts but spirit saying think of it as a journey with the full card energies get excited about a new beginning in your life because this new beginning is going to bring you the ten of cups complete fulfillment happiness joy healthy happy good things okay so here you are looking out maybe your ship is coming in to take you somewhere maybe some of you are wanting to leave a place and Spirit saying in the next two weeks, I think you are going to be able to do as such. With the Seven of Wands, it's time to realize that the battles are over with whomever, whomever these battles have been with, where you've been trying to stand your ground, and you can move in a new direction and start to prosper. As you are putting your energies into finding this new direction financially, you will hear a message, and that message is going to put you into a beautiful financial position where you can really take some time to shop, to take care of yourself, to give and care for others. So, um, well, yourself and others. Okay, then we have the moon and the star right next to each other. So this is becoming clear about what it is you want. Hoping, wishing, and praying for clarity getting clarity and having a wish come true someone coming in to offer their heart or a financial opportunity for you in the first couple weeks uh, make sure you get to the truth of a situation make sure you take the steps to get clarity is this an offer that is full and prosperous for me does is this offer about equal give and take is this offer going to help me to take care of my children or is this a balance with someone that I've known in the past? You're coming to the end of a difficult path and you are going to be able to celebrate a new beginning for some of you with another person. Um, and what's happening is all karmic, okay? This is a blessed direction you're going in. It is the right direction for you. 
Yes, be careful with love. Someone is going to race in and they don't really want love. They just want passion, okay? Uh, your word of prayer that I pulled earlier for you is optimism. I expect good things to happen and they do. So remember, with optimism, this is a way to control your path, to make sure that there is positivity and good things ahead in your life path, just by being optimistic, just by praying to spirit and knowing that spirit is going to bring new things into your path. This card counsels you to look for the blessings within your present situation, no matter how dire it may seem. What have you learned from your path up to this point? In what ways are you a much stronger person now? As you see the current blessings, you attract more blessings into your life. Mother Mary guides you to approach your life from a standpoint of gratitude. Optimism is a form of faith and trust in God. Studies show that optimistic people enjoy many health benefits. You can develop this trait by praying, God, please let me see the situation through your eyes. You'll unveil the light and love that currently resides within you and within this situation. Be optimistic about your future as it is created by your present moment decisions and actions. So in the first couple weeks of February 2018, what you put in is what you will receive back out. What you will receive back out is a uh, karmic blessing when it comes to love, when it comes to a new beginning, when it comes to reconnecting with someone. Um, and when it comes to letting go of old fears. All right, there are many gifts available. There are many paths open to you. This is a time in the first couple weeks of February to figure out which path is going to help to release you from conflict and defeat and to give you the recognition for a job well done that you guys deserve. So you're almost done with the path and the new beginning is coming through um, the energies that you put in to your accomplishments. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. Take care and God bless.